Good afternoon. My name is Enoch Woodhouse. I want to say hello to all of my friends who are readers and will hear the few words that I have to say about my connection with Boston University School of Law. When I was there, it seems like a hundred years ago, I was able to meet Martin Luther King. He was a divinity student. Uh, it was very easy to meet him because we were very few people of color. And I was in the law school and he was in the divinity school. This made us as graduate students apart from the undergrad. Uh, I have to commend Boston University. <laughs> because of all of the schools, I mean it, Boston I University, it. particularly for the professional the schools sure of law, <laughs> medicine, <laughs> and divinity, like, like they were most yeah. welcoming. Like that, he when other institutions, like Harvard, no, Yale, like would totally <laughs> exclude <laughs> us. And uh, being uh, a Methodist school founded uh, in those concepts, it was a welcoming school, and they gave people of color a chance that the other universities did not. And as, as a result, many of us have an allegiance to Boston University, and some of the great leaders there were accessible. Mm. Uh, I was able to meet and talk, uh, be on a personal first name basis with Dr. John Silber. We call him the Emperor. Uh, he has a very modest uh, portrait about 100 feet by 200 feet in the lobby of the uh, Metcalf House. Uh, on above all names, it was on one silver way. Uh, for some reason, it was a coincidence that the street was named after him. I, I must say that of all of the institutions around Boston, uh, Boston University stands apart with many programs and many opportunities for all students regardless of your race and ethnicity. And then you got a law degree. Uh, yes, I received my law degree from Boston University. And I must say that being a Yale undergraduate, one of my dear friends was Jerome Cohen. And uh, he was a clerk to, uh, I think, Justice Warren a Burger. And he told me, which was the biggest mistake of my life, he says, Woody, you must learn Chinese Mandarin. I'm going to study that now. Join me. I said, Jerry, can you imagine a black guy studying Mandarin back in the 50s? But I wish I had, because uh, being a student of history and meeting very important people uh, in the Chinese community, uh, I could see the influence and I was able to sit next to uh, yep. Madame Chenault, mm -hmm. uh, the widow of General Claire Chenault. Yep. And uh, even though I'm a Democrat, I used to be in Republican circles, and she and I would be at the same table. Yep. So we are saying we are the two great minorities here. There would be two of us out of around 2,000 people. I see. Um, I could say a lot. Yeah. Being the son and grandson of preachers, ministers, we can talk forever. Right. But I can just say that 
I'm happy to communicate my ideas. And if you have any other questions, you can see my critical reviewer, who was very difficult with me. And he can answer your questions. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.